<clears throat> Hello guys, uh, you are welcome once again to the Java Guide, uh, sorry, to the Java Academy. So um, this time around, I've been planning um, a set of tutorials. So uh, this is why I've been um, not been making videos for a while. So I've planned a set of tutorials that we would um, learn Spring Boot by using a project-based approach. So um, as a result, I would be expecting that whoever wants to follow this course should have some knowledge of uh, Java and then should also have a basic knowledge of uh, Spring Boot, even though we are going to be treating some of the basics of uh, Spring Boot before going into this project. So, um, so you might want to ask what this project is all about. So this project is all about building a banking application or to put it better, I'd say we are going to be mimicking the bank here, a banking application. So if you look around there, you have all the services that uh, we are going to have in this banking application. So the first step is, okay, so this is a banking application. I call it TJA Bank from uh, the Java Academy. Okay, so, and then here, the first step is to sign up, okay? Signing up allows the bank to collect your information, and then ideally also do some verification on you too. So then after signing up, you would have an account number that would be assigned to you on signing up. So as you are signing up, an account number is generated for you. So that's basically what we intend to achieve at this point here. So after registering, signing up and having an account number um, assigned to you, the next step would be to implement some of the core banking services. So when I say some of the core banking services, I refer to uh, crediting an account. So crediting an account is a user walks up to a bank physically, he hands a cash to someone in the bank and then that person deposits it for on his behalf into his account. So we'll be able to do something like that. We'll be able to credit the account. We'll be able to also debit an account. So for example, you go to a bank, you fill in a form and then you collect money from your account. So yeah, we would also be also doing the debit account. We're also going to be, be doing a transfer. Transfer is basically a transfer means you are debiting one account and then you are crediting another account. So the guy who is sending money is going to be debited. The guy who is receiving the money will be credited. So that's um, the that's the transfer service. Apart from that, we'd also want to be doing the name inquiry. We'd also be doing the uh, balance inquiry as well. So once we are done with this, we'd also implement an email service for creating alerts. So once you sign up, you get an, an email alert that you've, been, you've signed up and this is your account number and so on. Um, apart from that also, as you also do your banking transactions, credit, debit transfer, you also get an alert. For, uh, you get an email alert as well for all of those uh, services too. So after doing all of this, we we'll then now implement uh, Spring Security will be using JWT to secure the application. So here we are also going to be dictating some of the roles that defines what actions can be carried out by which user. So for example, uh, how to manage, not everybody should be able to delete a user. Not uh, everybody should be able to view all the users in a bank and so on like that. So you are going to be implementing uh, role-based authentication in this uh, application as well. So as an extra, I'm also going to be creating a customer care agent using chat GPT. So you can, it mimics a, uh, like you are chatting with or having a discussion with uh, a member of the bank. So, but underlying it, it will be chat GPT doing that for you. So we'll be integrating chat GPT into this uh, banking application. So basically it's just an overview of what is to come starting from uh, this night. And then we'll start with the sign up. So this is just an overview of what, of what is going to be uh, coming on this channel. So I encourage you to stay tuned, to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, to also engage this video. If there's something else you'd like me to incorporate into this application, please don't hesitate to uh, state that in the in the chat, or you can drop a message for me. So. Yeah, so basically this is what we are going to be doing. So another thing I want to also assure you of is that we are going to be making use of different methods to create our objects. We are going to be using builder pattern, 
but they're making use of DTO. We are going to be using model mapper just to ensure that at the end of this particular course, you would can boost that. Okay, you are ready for uh, the industry. And then as time goes by, it will also be refactoring our code to meet some certain standards as well. So this is, um, you are welcome once again to this uh, particular session. And I hope that you'll be following and then you are also chilled to uh, get started with uh, this course. So until we see you again later. Thanks.